We are Trayvon. It's the theme Ebony Magazine is using in four powerful covers for its September issue. And they all pay tribute to Trayvon Martin, the teenager who George Zimmerman shot and killed last year in Florida. Martin's parents and brother are photographed on one cover. Another features Miami Heat star Dwayne Wade and his two boys. Another one has director Spike Lee and his son. And another shows actor Boris Kudjo and his six-year-old son. They're wearing gray hoodies for the cover. And in a statement, Ebony's editors say, quote, in the explosive time since that fateful night, February 26, 2012, generations of black America have come to terms with the fact that we live in a country that often eats its young, our young. To be 17 black and male specifically is tantamount to a crime. So said the actions of certain George Zimmerman, Trayvon's killer. And after an emotional trial in the state of Florida, so too, it seems, said a jury of Zimmerman's peers. Now, remember, Zimmerman was found not guilty in the murder of Martin, but Boris Kojo, who you just saw on Ebony's cover, joins us now. We thank him so much for taking the time with us. And Boris, let me ask you, why did you decide to do the magazine cover? Ryan, I was deeply affected by what happened last year, um, being a father myself with a six-year-old son. Um, I wanted to make sure that uh, the dialogue that we started in the wake of uh, the Trayvon Martin um, killing wouldn't die down right after um, you know, it was hyped up to a point where everybody was talking about it. So I wanted to make sure that this very important dialogue about uh, racial profiling, race as a whole, and most importantly, I think, uh, gun violence doesn't die down. Now, we see you on the cover with your son, and it immediately got me thinking, what did you tell your son about why you were doing this cover and why you wanted him to be a part of it? See, my wife Nicole and I, we um, have started a measured attempt to uh, explain to our kids who are only eight and six uh, about race and everything else because um, obviously they learn in school about MLK and uh, uh, about uh, human rights, civil rights. Uh, we wanted to make sure that they grow up not in fear, but they grow up uh, with a notion about diversity about uh, uh, the assets of diversity, how important it is to embrace diversity. And um, so I didn't specifically talk to him about that specific case. I just made him understand that this is something that we had to do because it was about um, spreading you know, diversity, about uh, uh, talking uh, uh, to kids, about talking as a family, and uh, the dialogue that I just mentioned. Mm. Hey, Boris, have you ever had a chance to meet uh, Tracy Martin, Sabrina Fulton, and talk to them at all? Uh, because, you know, you wonder a lot of ways. I know there's a lot of passionate feelings on both sides of this case, but a lot of people always wonder what it must be like for them having gone through this trial and then trying to figure out what to do next from here. You know, it's hard, to, it's hard for me to imagine you know, what they're going through, um, to, to go through these very, very private and, 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 and intimate emotions. Uh, and doing it in front of millions of people. Uh, I, I had a chance to meet them briefly a year ago, uh, and I was, I was inspired, really, by how strong they were and how committed they were to carry on this dialogue beyond um, um, what they had to do uh, 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 after their son died. Um, I think they, they see it as their responsibility at this point to carry on a, a, a sort of positive legacy uh, of their son and to use this tragedy in a positive way to, to inspire all of us. Boris, I love how you talk about positive change and using the dialogue to achieve that change. What changes do you think need to happen in America to maybe open up this dialogue more, to maybe cause change to occur so that we don't have such divisive situations coming up in the future? I think it's a dialogue that's not only necessary, but it can never stop. Um, until the word diversity is obsolete, we don't talk about it anymore, which would be a sign that we have achieved it. Um, we have to continue talking about it all the time. We have to talk about uh, uh, community. We have to talk about church. We have to talk about teachers, parents, because it's our job uh, as these influencers, uh, as these people who raise our kids, to not only be good role models, but uh, to embrace the responsibility to talk to them about these things, to talk to them about race, to talk to them about ignorance and fear, because that's where, race com uh, that's where racism comes from. Uh, so um, those, those, I think, are the most important things that we can, ca we can take away from this. Uh, uh, not to be afraid, but to, uh, uh, 
to attack it, to talk about it, to keep the dialogue open uh, for as long as it takes. All right, Boris, I'm sure from your work and from these covers as well, the dialogue will continue in many ways. Boris, thank you so much. We appreciate your time.